Welcome to One Lisa Show. My name is Lisa and today it is cloudy and rainy and the lighting is horrible. So welcome to Friday Sews. <laughs> so let me start off. This is what I'm wearing is the Tilly and the Buttons Cocoa Top. This is just out of simple black jersey I got from Walmart. And on a non-sewing related part of my week, I said last week I wanted to work on socks. So I got some patterns a croy sock yarn from Joann's and found a pattern on Yarnspirations and this was I am not uh, double pointed needles and me we're not friends we are not friends and if you aren't a knitter this might not be what I'll keep it short because we do really want to focus on sewing but this is how far I got on my first sock not bad I had to restart it and um I'm actually very happy with it. So that's all I had to say about that. It's not as calming as I thought, like normal knitting if I'm making a sweater. I find it very calming. This I do not find calm. And there are some people on YouTube that can whip out a pair of socks in like four hours. I don't know how. I don't know how, especially on double pointed needles um, because they form this odd shape and I just haven't gotten my, my mode or my swing of things yet. Okay, what I have been working on for sewing is a pair of quick sew shorts, 3K3854. I know that pattern number by heart now. They are sailor shorts and I did special order them from the quick sew uh, from the website because they were not, I could not find them at any Hobby Lobby or Joann's in my area. So I'm working on those and making the extra large, which I have got pretty much, I should have brought them up to show you. I pretty much have um, the shorts parts done with the exception of the hem and then the waistband and attaching the buttons. So I'm probably at that halfway point. I tried them on, they are a little big, but we're gonna see how they sit with the waistband. And then if I have to, I purposely didn't finish my seams because I was thinking I wanted to try it on. And then if I needed to make adjustments, I could do so. I'm thinking it might be a little on the big side for me, but they are sailor, excuse me, gosh. They are a sailor short, sailor style shorts, and they're more like a culotte, so they are baggy. I just wanted to fit around the waist, and I don't mind if they're baggy and drapey otherwise. Because they do have a wide leg, but they are short. And hopefully next week I'll have a, I'll be able to model them for you. So on Sundays, if you haven't, haven't, um, if you don't know of Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, check her out on YouTube. Beyond the Pink Door is a fabric shop overseas. What's wonderful about it is on Sundays, she does a live stream. And in my time, it's usually during the day, but I think it's towards the evening for them. She does a live stream from her shop showcasing some of her newest fabrics that week. And then if people wanna see something else, she shows it live on YouTube and you can actually see the bolt. You can see how big the print is compared to her and her hands. And it just seems to be very helpful. And it's interactive because it's a live stream. You can comment and kind of be part of the conversation. And it is something I have really enjoyed the past uh, few months when she does her, her live streams. If I can catch it, I catch it. So I did uh, sign up on for her social sew along. So she does a sew along and you can go to her website and sign up for a day and time if, when they have their next one. And you get a Zoom invite and then you can sew along or hand sew or do whatever you want or just participate in the conversation. Kind of like an online sewing circle. And it I did that this Wednesday and they were very welcoming. All the ladies that were at this Zoom were very welcoming. I had a great time. It was my uh, lunch break. So <clears throat> I situated myself, I came home and situated myself in my 
sewing space, which is now the basement, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I had my quick sew pattern I was working on and I was really pinning, but I had so much fun with that conversation. The ladies were so warm and inviting and just a blast. I laughed and I laughed and I needed that. There is nothing better than a good, um, a good break from your work day, right? And to have a good laugh, to talk, and people I've never met before, but now I have new friends all over the world, and I'm very appreciative. So thank you, Andrea, and thank you for hosting that. I look forward to more. And actually, she showed some fabrics, and I ended up I ended up going back later that night when I was done working. I went to the website, and there were a couple of fabrics I was eyeing. So I did purchase them. So this will be uh, an interesting, a new new thing, a new place to get fabrics from. Shipping to the US is, is a tad expensive, I will say. It is expensive. It's kind of like doubles your cost. But I will, the two fabrics I picked, one was a petrol colored denim. And denim at Joann's, there's not much to pick from. So I figured that was okay. And it was a lightweight denim. I want to really try making myself a pair of uh, jeans this year. And I thought that was an interesting color and probably would be very good for fall or even because of its teal tones to petrol. Um, even later summer, it might be really nice with like a tank top. So we'll see what happens. And Big Daddy, by the way, says, I say so a lot now. And he's like, so S-E-W or S-O. It's really cute. The other thing, so I ordered the, the petrol denim and I also ordered a cute print that is like pink with cat cat heads on it, cats. But it was something different and it's a, I think that was a jersey so I could make shirts for my nieces. And now I'm gonna segue to the nieces. I think that's next, it is next on my list. So my nieces, seven and nine, I talk about them all the time, I make them stuff. I, a couple weeks ago, I made them a pair of shorts, the Pearl Soho City Gym Shorts. I made the, I think, eight, nine years, and it fit the seven-year-old really good. And it does fit the nine-year-old, but she's very tall. She is like all legs. She is tall for her age. She is all uh, skinny legs, tiny waist. So the waist part fit her good, but the shorts are a little short. And she said the rise is a little tight. So I'm gonna do the, another pair the larger a larger size and I'm going to elongate it so it's a little longer for her and uh, they each I have seen them each wear them even though when I first gave it to them they weren't thrilled on the pattern even though everyone on here said it was so cute and I thought it was so cute so, <clears throat> so my niece Sarah the nine-year-old and I got to spend some time together yesterday because her sister had a doctor appointment and so they both got out of school early, a little, like a half hour early. And I took Sarah and we went to Joanne so she could pick out fabric for her own pair of shorts. I can't wait to show you. I can wait. We picked out, <clears throat> she wants to be a rocker. She wants to be a monumental rocker and she loves Guns N' Roses and she thinks Axl Rose is the be all and end all. Unfortunately, I disagree <clears throat> and not even respectively at that. But they didn't have Guns N' Roses fabric at Joanne's, but they had Def Leppard. And I'm certain that her influence on music is because her dad likes this stuff. So she picked out some cotton Def Leppard <laughs> fabric. I got two thirds of a yard, which is gonna be more than enough to make her a pair of shorts. I probably can swindle a pair of shorts and then she wanted um, a bandana for her dog. So I thought, okay, this was not cheap. Just so you know, licensed character fabrics at Joann's is ridiculously expensive. So she better wear these shorts. I don't care if I make them too long, she better wear them. So we got some Def Leppard. And then she wants something hardcore. She wants to have a band and she and her friends at school have named their band Thorns and Roses. And good for her, none of them play an instrument, 
None of them know anything about forming a band. They None of them have ever been to a concert. And that's okay. They have dreams. And I, I, I appreciate that. And I'm not downing it. But I did tell her, you know, the I think Guns N' Roses, if you ask Axl Rose one day what influenced him, he may say the Beatles. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a fan of the Beatles? So we went to the uh, seasonal section of the fabrics at Joann's and looked at the, like where the Christmas fabrics are and they had a bunch of memorial, you know, patriotic fabrics, red, white, and blue. They had about four bolts, maybe five different bolts of Halloween fabrics. So she wanted hardcore. So we got this uh, roses and flowers with skeleton hands and spiderweb in the background. Uh, she loved it. So I got, I think I got a yard of this. That was also very expensive. And then to even things out, because her sister had a doctor appointment, we got her sister some fabric that I had before. I made a bra out of, and I gave them the scraps, and she loved the fabric so much, she asked me to make a dress out of it for her. And I didn't have enough to make a dress, so I got two yards of this. This was much more uh, my price point, but it does have some foil on, in it. It is a co quilting cotton. Very simple, I got two yards of it. But she absolutely loved the fabric. I love the fabric, so I got two yards so I could make her shorts and a dress. But I have a bra out of this. And if there's enough, maybe I'll make a pair of knickers for myself as well. So where am I missing? Let me go through here. I did a lot this week, even though there wasn't a lot of sewing. So I bought this fabric. I placed the order at Beyond the Pink Doors website. I'll put a link in the description. Like I said, the shipping to the US is a bit on the expensive side. However, I am very excited to see these fabrics and I am more than happy to, to patronize a shop I don't care where it is that is putting out all this content and helpfulness and making a way for us to talk to each other and I absolutely love the concept of her showing these these fabrics every week I think is so clever especially if they were in a country where there was like a lockdown and people can go to the stores they could still experience shopping and I I really do like that and it's such a clever idea my plans for this weekend are to finish my shorts, those quick sew shorts I talked about, wash these fabrics, and hopefully start working on the girls' items. I'm almost all the way down a move from my attic to the basement. So I have, I left my sewing table up there because I might try to put that in one of our spare bedrooms. So I put my craft table in the basement and put my sewing machine on that. I'm not enjoying sewing on that right now. Uh, it's a little wobbly. It's a plastic fold-up table, but it's doing what it needs to do. I also think, oh, I also still have the serger upstairs. So there's still a couple of the items upstairs in our attic. I'll bring them down as I can. I do have a hint for you. If you do live in this, um, I don't know. I don't know how the UK and the European countries are, but we get our meat. Like you can buy deli meat prepackaged and they come in little like uh, plastic containers that are reusable. And I really never saved these before. But now I have um, needles. Needles and like my buttonhole maker and a couple different presser foots. The stuff that came, the accessories that came with my sewing machine, I have stacked in here with my needles. And now those fit in my uh, sewing desk, like the drawer, or if I need to transport them from up to down, I have them. So I'm very pleased with this. And if you're a mom out there or you have already figured this out, me, as someone that doesn't eat uh, too much meat or that we've just always recycled these containers. 
this is a game changer. It's small enough where it fits in the drawers. I also want to take a moment to thank everyone that um, commented on my last Friday So's video. It was emotional, as you could tell. I was really, um, I had a hard time, and that kind of came out. And there was plenty of stuff I actually removed and edited out of that video. But I want to thank you for your kind comments and all the hearts and likes and views on that video. Um, some stuff just isn't easy in life, right? And we all have our own path and, and that's where that is. But thank you so much. And I read all the comments and I, I really do appreciate it. What else? What else do I have? Oh, if you, one last thing. I gotta go get it. Hold on a second. I can get it. One thing I do want to show, and I'm sorry this lighting is so poor today. The weather is it's cloudy, it's raining, and we had our weather has been up and down, and I know I've heard other people all over the world talk about how the weather has been up and down. It is a very interesting week or two we've had, and I think spring in general has been different this year. A couple of Christmases ago, my boyfriend's mother sent for my Christmas present, and I can't remember if it was made if it was sent to both of us or just me. But it was bed sheets. <laughs> it was bed sheets. And and God bless her she tends to send us Christmas presents even though we tell her we don't want anything. She does still send us presents every year and they are pretty much always Christmas present, Christmas themed items and we open them on Christmas. So she sent flannel sheets, king size flannel sheets with cars and Christmas trees. My boyfriend loves cars and I have a beetle and so this had a beetle on it so I understand why she thought these were really cute. However, Big Daddy is a heat pump. So we have, they're still in their package. We don't, we, and I'm going through menopause. So we do not function I couldn't even imagine sleeping in flannel sheets. Now I do have flannel pajamas and I that I made <laughs> and I had made short sleeve flannel pajamas and the pants. And during the day when I'm chilly, that's fine. If I'm home, wearing the pants is one thing. I don't sleep in them. I sleep in the top because it's short sleeve and it's buttoned down so it's pretty airy. But I always take the pants off when I go to bed. So these have been sitting in a closet for almost two years. Well, one and a half, two and a half, something like that. Because we opened them on Christmas Day. And I had, thank you to everybody that tell, says they sew with sheets. Anyway, so I found these in the closet and light bulb went off in my head. We don't sleep in flannel bedding. However, I do like flannel pajamas. And when I get to bed, the pants come off and the flannel pajamas I do have, I, they're short sleeves that I made from closet core patterns. I made the short sleeve, which I can sleep in a short sleeve flannel top in the dead of winter. <laughs> Easy peasy as long as they don't have the bottoms on. And if I get too hot, I just unbutton it. So these, these adorable sheet set is going to become pajamas for me and pajama pants for my boyfriend. And he doesn't sleep in pajama pants either. He wears them, he wears them uh, when he's home before bed and then he takes them off when he gets into bed. So. Very excited, very pumped. That'll be a project that I need to have done before winter gets here. That's what's crazy going on in my world. So I had a lot of sewing stuff to talk about, but I didn't do too much sewing. And I 
I plan to do more sewing this weekend. Uh, get my sewing space a little bit more organized. The lighting down there is how it is here right today, like just poor. But I'm hoping to get some more lights up in there. Um, actually, I'm hoping to take over one of my spare bedrooms. But we'll see what happens with that. I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. I'm looking forward to watching everybody's Friday Sews videos to play catch up. And hopefully I'll get to watch that this extended weekend. If you're in the States, Memorial Day weekend. And that is a Saturday, Sunday, Monday holiday. So I will be probably working because everyone wants to see houses on days they're off work. And if I'm not working, I will be sewing and cleaning. Oh, and then I'm going to, and then I plan to do some baking this weekend too. If the weather stays as cool as it is, it's a good time to make some bread and just catch up on uh, maybe like a cake or cupcakes or something. So we have some good sweets in the house. Have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to your videos. And if you watched this and liked it, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Every subscriber, I have a goal of reaching my thousand subscribers by August, and I hope you can help me reach that goal. So thanks again. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.